We're Jenna and Jeremy. After 14 months of RV life, we sold the RV and booked a one-way flight to travel the world. Follow our adventures as we explore more of our incredible planet Earth. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for weekly travel videos. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok, Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good stuff. It's official, RV life is a thing of the past. We have sold and we are on a flight heading to Costa Rica. We stayed the night in the Alajuela City Hotel and Guest House. The next morning, we took a $32 Uber about an hour and a half up into the mountains to Bajos del Toro. It's thanks to a friend, Jay, that helped us discover this place, and we're really glad that we did because it was epic. We stayed here and ate at La Terraza del Café de Logan, which we found on Airbnb. $31 for a private room and bathroom. All right, so there's the door to our room, and then there's a staircase that comes up here to a nice seating area. And then, oh, nice Christmas tree down there. Our dog friend that followed and very nice views wow just taking a walk through the neighborhood beautiful we got our little pup friend still hola oh hola Yari. 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 Made it a few miles from where we're staying and finally found access to the river. So I'm standing on this little platform, just came down, I guess you could call those stairs, but they're basically just rungs of a ladder from the road that's up there. There's the bridge. Wow, it really looks like a freaking tropical wonderland, kind of like Jurassic Park, Hawaii. Oh my gosh, the color of this water is gorgeous. It's so blue. Look, I'm just standing on a little rock, swirling around the rocks. So beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen watercolor quite like this. It's different. Look at the <laughs> sketchy ladders. Oh, am I getting bit? Look at that. What a beauty. Oh man. All to myself right now too. Nobody's here. Good morning. Buenos dias. We are walking down the street right now to head to uh, Tesoro Escondido Waterfall. Waterfall and Park. We woke up out of our room at 5.55 a.m. Yep. It's 7.30 a.m. We're going to go seize the day and go ch chase, chase some waterfalls. Right. Paid our entrance fee. It is 7,000 colones, which is 11 American dollars. Sorry, I'm looking down. I'm walking on mud, rocks, and I hear some water. Giant leaves. I feel like we're in Dora the Explorer. We have these obstacles we have to figure out how to cross. So here's the river. We're apparently only 100 meters from the large waterfall. We have this rope across here that's supposed to help us but it doesn't look like there's enough rock so do we take our shoes off to cross Time for the big falls of Tesoro Escondido, which in English means hidden treasure. With nobody else here, it really felt like a hidden treasure. Clean blue water, mossy river rocks, and unending green foliage. This is why we came to Costa Rica. Don't worry, we have plans to hit a few beaches, but we plan on spending most of our time inland, chasing waterfalls, volcanoes, hot springs, cloud forests, and more. 
This would be a great spot for a cold swim and a picnic. On the way back, there's an offshoot to more smaller falls and the trail up to the overlook. They've constructed this beautiful arch where you can walk out and enjoy the serenity of this place. We made it back to town and met a driver named Adrian through our Airbnb host. We paid him, I think, $20 to get us down to the town of Zarcero, aka Alfaro Ruiz, and show us to the bus stop. After maybe 10 minutes, we boarded our first bus in Costa Rica, which was a bit toasty, but only a few bucks to get us nearly two hours northwest to La Fortuna, where we'll be settling in for about three weeks. So stay tuned to see La Fortuna, plenty more of Costa Rica, and hopefully much of the world through our eyes. And don't forget to get out there and quench your adventure. Bye.